These three eyepieces are supposed to be obsolete junk. Their simple design is over 100 years old, but they solve one of my biggest problems in public outreach events. And they've also become my ultimate star party eyepieces. These eyepieces are called Kellners and they have a basic three element design, which keeps them simple, but by today's modern standards, they're largely considered outdated and low performers, especially if you compare them to modern wide field eyepieces. However, these specific Kellners in this Celestron Elux line, which are a two inch format, I have found to be outstanding performers in a very specific range. Generally, Kellners are known for having smaller apparent fields of view and shorter eye relief, especially when you compare them to other simple designs like Plossels, which are much more popular. But the two inch format of these Celestron Kellners allows them to have increased apparent field of view, which is marketed at 56 degrees, which is about six degrees more than these Teleview Plossels. And across the entire product line, these Kellners have up to eight millimeters more eye relief over their Plossel counterparts. So if we're comparing these two similar focal length eyepieces, they're both 32 millimeter focal length, uh, besides obvious difference in the barrel size of an inch and a quarter to two inches, this Kellner has six millimeters more eye relief over this Plossel, which really is a huge difference for people who aren't familiar with looking through telescopes. That additional eye relief makes it much easier for them to locate what they're looking at. And when they approach the eyepiece, it's much easier for them to look into it and see the object that you're targeting. Especially if you have eyeglass wearers, which I encounter a lot of glasses wearers at public programs. And they really struggle a lot of times for eye placement on very tight eyepieces. And so getting that additional eye relief is really beneficial for them. Another major difference that I've noticed uh, across these two that are similar, you'll notice that the eye lens on the Kellners is much larger, which again helps with getting people oriented with where to look, knowing where to look and place their eyes so that they can see something quickly and don't have to search around for it. Another major benefit of these simple designs is the price point. Celestron Elux Kellners are not manufactured anymore. When they were for sale, they were about $70 each. I would imagine you could probably get them for half that price on the used market today. But what's really nice about having inexpensive star party eyepieces is that you don't have to worry about kids touching the glass or someone's makeup getting on the lenses. Uh, overall, it's just lower risk and I don't have to worry as much with this $70 eyepiece versus if I had a six or $700 Nagler in there. So I bought these eyepieces for use in F10 Schmidt cast grains, which is a fairly slow telescope. And in a slow telescope, these simple eyepiece designs perform really well. Uh, the edge of field is sharp and I haven't noticed any aberrations. I haven't even bothered trying these in any short focal length telescopes because I'm sure they'll perform like hot garbage. If you are looking to understand why the telescope focal length impacts eyepiece performance, I recommend you check out my deep dive into telescope focal length. The card is up in the corner. These calendars aren't even pretending to be modern, wide field, well-corrected eyepieces, but they do serve a very specific purpose for me, and they may serve that for you as well. What I'm trying to make clear is that simple eyepieces like these can absolutely have a spot in your eyepiece case. One thing that I think is really important to mention also is manufacturing quality as always pays a difference. These specific Kellners are manufactured well. Conversely, you may look through a poorly manufactured wide field eyepiece where these Kellners are very capable of outperforming them. So, Product quality overall makes a big difference. Eyepiece performance varies across telescope and selecting eyepieces is highly dependent on what you plan to use them for and the equipment that you're gonna be using them with. My next video launching on Late Sky Voyager is going to be a eyepiece buyer's guide and it will lay out for you some decision-making criteria that you can use to help you pick eyepieces that are right for what you want to use them for. So make sure to check that out when it launches. And this is Trevor from Night Sky Voyager wishing you clear skies.